So one of the most common questions I get asked all the time on my TradingView tutorial videos is how do I place trades directly on TradingView? So how do I buy and sell directly on the TradingView platform? And that is exactly what I'm going to show you guys in this short TradingView tutorial. So the very first thing you want to do is that you want to head over to tradingview.com and open up a clean chart. Right now, as I'm speaking, I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, but you can of course do this on any type of chart. By the way, guys, if you want to try out TradingView Premium for 30 days for free, I will make sure to leave a link down in the description. But now, guys, so in order to trade directly on TradingView, you want to head down here to where it says Trading Panel and click on this one. And to make this more clear, you want to head over to the right and press Maximize Panel. And as you can see, now a screen here with multiple different brokers appeared. And you can actually go down here and press see all brokers to see all the different brokers that you can use to trade inside TradingView. So yes, guys, in order to trade inside TradingView, you need to use one of these brokers. So let's say that you, for example, use Webull. Then you simply press on your Webull account. You press connect right here. And then you simply have to log in. And if you guys currently don't have any of these brokers, you will need to create a new account. And personally, when I trade, I use a Swedish broker called Avanza. And this one is unfortunately not compatible with TradingView. But in order to show you guys how to actually trade inside TradingView, I will use the TradingView paper trading. And this is basically when you trade inside TradingView using fake money. And this is something everyone can do. And it works in the same way as if you use a real broker. So let's take a look at how to actually trade inside TradingView. So we go to the paper trading right here. And just as if we used a real broker, we want to connect our paper trading accounts. And this is super easy to do because your paper trading account is the same account as your TradingView account. So you simply just press connect. And now you can see that a panel appears here. We have some orders, history, and so on and so on. But since we haven't placed any trades yet, this window right here will be empty. But what we now want to do is that we go up to the upper right corner and we press hide panel. And now in order to place a trade on TradingView, you can either go down here and press the trade button right here. It will be down next to the paper trading panel right here. And what you also want to make sure is that you want to see the green dot right here next to paper trading. That means that the paper trading is on and that you are good to go to trade. So you can either press trade right here and this window will appear or you can simply right click on the chart here, go to the trade button right here and press create new order. And what I usually do here is that I go up to the three dots here, the settings button, and I press unlock on that button. And now you can see that we have a free moving trading panel right here. Many times we move this one to the left here so we can see the most recent price action. And now you can see on this panel, we have the buy and we have the sell and we have many different ways to buy and sell. We have the stop order, we have the limit order and we have the market order. And if you guys want to learn more about the different order types, when to use them and exactly what they do, I actually have a a video about that and I will make sure to link the video up in the corner in the video cards. But just to show you guys a quick trade here, let's use the most simple order, which is the market order. That basically means that we buy, in this case, Bitcoin at the current price. We can also set a take profit and a stop loss. The take profit level is the level where your trade will automatically lock in profit. So in the case of an buy order, this is where your trade will automatically sell when we reach, reach a certain price. So let's, for example, set our take profit here at 31,000. This basically means that when or if Bitcoin reaches 31,000, the trade will automatically sell. We can also set our stop loss level here. Let's just set this one at 29,000. That means that if Bitcoin starts to fall here down to 29,000, the trade will automatically sell. And it's very important when you trade to always have a stop loss. And most of the times you also wanna set a predetermined take profit level. So now this trade is basically, we buy Bitcoin at the current price and we have our profit target at 31,000. We have our stop loss at 29,000. So let's press buy right here. 
And as you can see, right now we are in a trade. We are currently up around $20 here. And if Bitcoin would go up all the way up here to 31,000, we would lock in a profit of $900. And if Bitcoin falls all the way down here to our stop loss, that would lead to a loss of around $1,100. All right, guys, so I hope you found this video helpful. When it comes to trading, it's super important to understand the different order types you can use when you trade. So now guys, if you have the time, I highly recommend you guys to watch this video about how to use different order types next.